Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, I've just, I've been trying to do this video for the last 20 minutes, the phone rang, I went and got a glass of water. Just going to finish my glass of water because my throat's pretty croaky at the moment. So I'm hoping I can get through this video um, without you guys, I guess, trying to understand what I'm trying to say. Mm. I should have brought some fishermen friends into the room. Um, anyway, we'll see how we go. I might do this video in a couple of parts, so um, I'm not sort of straining my voice as much. Basically, I just wanted to talk to you all about if you've never owned a dog or a cat before and you're sort of looking into getting one and you're like, okay, what do I need? What do I need to do? Uh, what's involved and stuff like that. So, basically, dogs and cats live for about 15 to 20 years. That's like their lifespan. So, you need to be able to commit for that amount of time. Um, so if you don't feel as though you can commit for that amount of time, I would probably recommend just getting a smaller animal like a guinea pig or something like that. But this is just for people who have never owned a dog or a cat before and are looking to sort of get tips, I guess, on what's involved. So lifespan, 15 to 20 years, you need a budget. So that involves food, bedding, vet bills, pet insurance, and then anything else that you, you know, want to buy for your pet. So like toys, uh, extra bedding, blankets, things like that. Uh, bones for dogs and um, yeah, stuff like that. So it can be quite expensive owning a, a dog or a cat, more so a dog than a cat. I think the bigger the animal, the more you have to spend on, um, to get, I guess, to keep them alive and keep them going and stuff like that. So that's why it's probably a good idea to own um, a cat in a way because they're not as expensive as dogs. But in saying that, your cat can have uh, problems like health problems later down the track. So I'm not just saying go out and get a cat because just like dogs and just like people, we can develop um, underlying health conditions and stuff like that. So um, it's just each their own, whether you prefer a cat or a dog. But yeah, um, food and vet bills are probably your main, I guess, costly things when you're looking to get a dog or a cat. It's not so much buying the animal or getting the animal from a pound or something like that. It's more the rest of their lives kind of thing that you have to worry about. So um, yeah, that's basically it. I find that if you do have a busy lifestyle, you're probably better off getting a cat. Uh, but as I said, each their own. If you prefer dogs over cats, fair enough, go ahead and get a, a um, dog and vice versa. So you just have to feel it, you just have to think, okay, can I fit a dog and cat into my lifestyle? Can I commit? Do I have the um, money to pay for all of this sort of stuff? Because um, even though having an animal is a lot different to having children, um, obviously you don't send them to school. You might send them to puppy preschool, but that's like that's only a four to six week course. So um, yeah, and you don't really have to buy them clothing or anything like that. So in a way, animals are probably cheaper than children in that way. But at the same time, you just you have to be able to afford to own. A dog and cat and it breaks my heart when people have to give their dog away or their cat away or they put them down for no apparent reason because they just can't um, afford to have the dog and cat. If you're going to get a dog and cat commit to it for 15 years at least. I'm going to leave the video right there right there go get a drink of water and then I'll come back and continue. Whoops. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to the second part of this dog and cat video and whether or not you're uh, ready to own a dog or a cat. So I'm going to go into a few ways of how you can own a dog or cat or how you can get a dog or cat. Um, I'm going to go into one way I don't like how dogs and cats are sold and I'm also going to let you know... Um, I guess what cats or dog breeds I would recommend if you have children. 
So I don't want to make this video too much longer. The last time I did this, it went on about 10 minutes. So I'll see how I go. If I keep going or keep rambling, I apologize. So basically the three main ways you can obtain a dog or a cat is by going to a local pound, a breeder, or a pet shop. I'll leave the pet shop to the end because I'm not a huge fan of that. I'll start with a pound. I highly recommend going to um, a pound to get a dog or cat. And I would highly recommend you getting a pup or kitten around the three to four month mark. Only because they get to know you, they grow up with you, and they get used to you. That's my only reasonings or reasonings um, as to why I would get a dog or cat around that age. Now, if you want to go get a five-year-old cat or a five-year-old dog, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, this is just basically for first time, you know, people who have never owned a dog or a cat before. You can also get information from your local vet. Um, talk to your friends, family who have dogs and cats to get more information as well. They're probably your best people to um, talk to. You can do research online, go to libraries, etc., etc., as well. Um, but yeah, you're better off talking to people who actually have a dog or a cat or your local vet. Um, breeders, make sure you do your research on breeders because there are a lot of um, dodgy ones out there. If you are a breeder watching this, I'm not having a go at any of you. Um, just, I've just sort of had, I haven't really had that much experience with breeders, but just from what uh, veterinary clients have told us about breeders, um, there are a lot of dodgy ones out there. I wouldn't recommend going on to Gumtree to try and find a dog or a cat, uh, but in saying that there may be legitimate breeders, you know, that advertise on Gumtree, but I just wouldn't go on there, but that's just my personal opinion. Um, and they are more expensive, especially if you want, say, a designer dog or a designer cat. So just keep in mind that that's, that may be the case. You could be paying up to 1000 or 1500 2000 for um, at least a designer dog. Pounds are a little bit more cheaper. I think I got Maddie for about $200, which is quite cheap. So if you don't really have the budget to pay for a $2,000 staffy, uh, blue Staffy, which are absolutely gorgeous. I think they're about 2000 or 1500 Just go to the pound and see what you can get because you can probably get a you know pup for about $500 or something like that. So, um, yeah, that's just sort of a few things to consider. Um, and ask the breeder questions as well. Make sure that the kittens and pups have been vet checked at least once so and vaccinated wormed microchipping and desexing and all that that can come later when the you know cattle dogs around five or six months um the pound that i went to is rspca at dacobin here in brisbane or not really in the brisbane shire but near brisbane they um had vaccinated maddie this is all before i got her microchipped her and also desexed her now, generally, vets recommend you get your dog or cat desexed around the six month mark um, or sometime after six months. If you want your dog or cat to have at least one litter, um, that's fine. Um, I didn't want that. So, thankful for me, I didn't have to um, add in the cost for desexing or microchipping on that. So, that was all included in, um, I guess, the payment when I bought Maddie. So, pan breeders. Pet shops. Not a huge fan unless you're buying a fish or a guinea pig or something like that. Um, I won't go into too much detail about that. I just don't like seeing them in um, a cage, sort of enclosed in the window and stuff like that. I think it's absolutely cruel. I did do a video on caging animals, so go check that out. Um, I won't go into too much detail about that. The only time I think it's appropriate is when your dog or cat is in a vet surgery because nine times out of ten they're only going to be there for about an eight hour day. So especially if they've only had say uh, a minor procedure like desexing, um, ear cleaning, teeth cleaning or you know something, something very very minor. Um, now I'm out of breath. <laughs> I'm just trying to think if there's anything else that I've missed. I don't think there is. So I've sort of explained where you can get um, a dog cat from um, and sort of the advice and you know stuff like that. 
can always Google as well. Google's everybody's best friend. <laughs> um, oh, if you have children and you're wondering what a good dog breed or a, do or a cat breed is for children, cats, Burmese, Siamese, uh, Burman, a blue Russian. I would probably recommend those types of cats if you have children, especially have, if you have small children. If you have more, say, I don't know, preteen or teenage children, you could probably go for something like I've got with Maddie. Um, look, she's beautiful. I love her and all that sort of stuff, but she can be a little bit cranky. So <laughs> I think the weather is actually getting to us, so I'm going to be grooming her sometime this month. But by the time this video goes up, um, you might have already seen pics of her being groomed or videos or something like that. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to uh, video her, like the whole thing of her being groomed um, because I have to sedate her and I'm not supposed to have um, sedation drugs. But anyway, I'm related to someone who can own the sedation drugs. So, um, yeah, I won't go into too much detail about that. But, yeah, if you... Um, Oh, dog breeds are uh, probably a Schnauzer, Labrador, or a Golden Retriever, which is my favourite type of dog. They are really, really good with children. So they're probably my top three cat picks and top three dog picks if you have children. I don't think I have too much more to say on this, guys. I hope I haven't offended anybody at all. It wasn't my intention. Um, just basically giving you my advice and tips and tricks on what you need um, to own a dog or a cat. And um, yeah, right, I'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. I got through it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.